reminding you you need to do your best to stay healthy and stay happy. Nobody's going to do it for you. Nobody's going to do the work for you. You got to do the work. And if you do the work, you're going to get results. And when you get results, that gives you motivation that you didn't have. So that when you wonder why you don't have motivation, it's probably because you didn't do the work. And if you did the work, then you would have the motivation and you wouldn't have to wonder why you don't have any. You have to drive yourself, but you got to know where you're going. So let me know if you have questions. I'm here to answer questions. And right now I got a little bit of a drive, I'm headed to a job to do some measuring with a tape measure. And then I've got a device. Where's it at? Hold on, I'll show you. I got a device, a control for a Samsung unit. I'm gonna check this out, make sure this operates and works correctly. If it does, I might do a video about it this morning, but I do have a video coming up this week I wanna talk about, and that's why I'm doing this video. So the video that I'm doing here in the next week is going to be line sets, copper tubing. It's gonna be talking about residential sizing for line sets for outdoor and indoor unit where you have split systems where you have to run copper to connect the two. I want to talk about what are the sizes that are normally used. I'm going to give you a sizing chart. And that's one video I think I should do here. So I'm going to be doing that for too long. Let me know if you got questions. I'm here to answer those questions. And in the meantime, I'm just going to talk about what I've been doing. Also, I got another video going to be coming up here in the next week. And this was a review, uh, not a review, it was a question from a viewer. It's from my new friend from Spain, Gary, who messaged me last week. Kind of asked me, how do you know what you know when you're 30? And I said, you know what? I need to do a video about that. So I'll be doing a video talking about my journey and talking about my experiences and how that has led me to know what I know. So that's going to be a good video. Let me know in the comments below if you think that's a good idea. I want to know for sure. If you think, hey, Ted, you should do a video on this. Let me know whatever that is, whatever that knowledge is that you think could be good for this channel and for people that are going to be susceptible or going to be exposed to this channel. So I would love that. Oh, we got to get some air conditioning in here because it is burning up. Otherwise, I got to roll the window down. If I roll the window down, you're probably not going to hear me that well. Had a video released this last week. I think it was Friday, Saturday, something like that is where the video premiered. I think it was Saturday about six o'clock. I did a video on how to operate a forklift and a scissor lift. I was super excited about that content because I knew that was going to be very useful information for anybody that was entering this field and going to be an HVAC contractor or an installer or a technician because, of course, using that type of machinery, being able to, is very useful. So. Send a like, hit that like button if you're watching, and let me know if you have any questions. Hope your day is going well. Just doing a short live here. Well, all right, let me get some water. Hmm. Went and picked up some cat claw for my friend. Cat's claw. I guess I can talk a little bit about this since you guys aren't on here yet. Cat's claw powder. Why is this stuff so awesome? What does it actually treat? What does it help with? Well, there's a book I have at home, which I'll probably need to pull out and take a look at it. But from memory, this stuff is fantastic for arthritis because it has uh, sterols. It has chemicals called sterols. S-T-E-R-O-L, sterols. That's what's in this. And sterols is closely related to steroids. And um, in animal studies, uh, given this cat's claw, which is actually a tree bark, there was a noticeable 50% decrease in swelling. That's unbelievable. Most people you know probably have or suffer from arthritis. And cat's claw is amazing. So I'm going to give this to my buddy and I hope that um, all of his issues go away. So. But cat's claw is also used to treat HIV, AIDS, the, the common cold, um, arthritis. Let's see what else. There's a lot of different things it treats. What are the other ones? Man, I can't believe I can't think of those. I'll think of them. That's okay. We got anybody on here yet? Anybody commenting? Anybody live with me? What else? 
Cat's Claw is a woody climbing vine known for its cat's claw shaped thorns native to the Amazon rainforest. This vine can grow up to 100 foot long. It's a vine. It is found mostly in tropical rainforests used by the indigenous peoples of South America for centuries. Uh, it dates back for over 2,000 years to the Incan civilization. So it's a vine. Very cool. Very beneficial too. I know that. What's going on, everybody? Hit that like button if you're here watching. Ask me a question, and I will provide you with an answer. If you if you have questions about going into the HVAC industry, learning HVAC, just ask me the question. I'll tell you exactly what you need to know. So that's why I'm here. That's why I'm doing this live. I got about another 5, uh, 10 or 15 minutes worth of this drive, and I hope to answer as many questions as possible. So give me the questions, and I'll provide you with the answers. Right now, I am free. It is free for you to ask me a question. It is free for me to give you that answer, and that's what I'm gonna do. And then, of course, if you wanna know what content I'm doing, I've already recorded it. It's on this live stream. As soon as this live stream is over, it will post to my channel. You'll be able to look at the beginning, that first five minutes, and you'll be able to see the new content, or the you'll be able to hear about the new content that I am going to be releasing. So, check out my hands. Check out my hands. See my hands? Look at my mouth. <laughs> oh, man. So, what did I do this weekend? What did you do this weekend? I finished putting up my water tank and strapping it up and all that good stuff. And then I went and got a bunch of quail from my wife's grandmother. And I've got a big quail pen now with a bunch of quail. And I've got quails and chickens. And I burned a bunch of brush that I piled up behind my shop or that I cut behind, uh, beside my shop. So, did a little work outside, did a little work at the shop. Don't jump on here and not ask me a question or say hi. Jump on here, tell me who you are, where you're from, hit that like button, and then leave a comment and go, Tad, I need to know about this. Can you, can you answer this for me? Because that's what I need. I need those questions. I'm here to answer your questions, and your questions lead to content. But if you do not give me a question or say hi, then my mind goes to all these other different things. Like Pulse X and Pulse Chain and Hex. Because that's something else I'm doing right now. And I finished watching some videos this morning and I went and checked on my sacrifice. I went and checked on my tokens and I was really excited because I did the Pulse X and the Pulse Chain sacrifice. If you don't know what that is, it's a new um, fork of Ethereum Pulse Chain is. And then uh, Pulse X is a like a uni swap it is a, a centralized a decentralized exchange so it's pretty awesome and i'm in hex so it's pretty awesome too because anybody that's in hex right now before the pulse chain is created will get a double their hex it'll get a copy of it so and what is hex hex is a certificate of deposit on the blockchain and i use that to be able to mint coins and provide myself with yield so that i can live off of that yield, right? That's the whole purpose. You live live off the yield, never touch the principal, delay my gratification. Sounds hard, but fun. Michael Clinton in music. Michael, how's your music going? What are you doing right now with music? Sounds hard, but fun. Yeah, it's not hard. I mean, it's just knowledge. And once you know the knowledge, then that barrier is gone. And then you can figure out how to do it. I learned because of a course that I did. It's called HexPassiveIncome.com. I went on there and I did this little course. It cost me nothing because it was free. Actually, I'm just kidding. It was 200 bucks. But I got a discount code that made it a little cheaper, so I was able to do that. And then I learned how. And then I inputted some money and that money tripled and doubled and it's just amazing. I was like, wow, it's good. It's Michael from the store. Michael from the store. Michael from the store. Michael. Michael from the store. What? Michael, tell me tell me what's going on here. Michael from the store. What store? Now I'm thinking, I'm 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 thinking that hmm. Michael from the store. Michael from the store. Why don't I know this? Why don't I know this? Michael from the store. What store, Michael? Where are you at, Michael? Have you been watching me? <laughs> Michael, tell me what store. Where at? You got me thinking now. And I know I don't know. It's driving me crazy. Michael from the Parth store. 
Yeah, dude. What? No way. Michael from the store. Par store. Yeah, Exxon. What are you doing, man? I didn't know you were even subscribed. That's awesome, man. So you, where do you play music at? Where do you play music at, Michael? I want to know. And I'm ready to see your album. Exxon. You don't play at Exxon. I know, I know better than that. I'm almost at my destination. Oh yeah, you play you play music at the Exxon? <laughs> I know better than that, Michael. That's funny. Alright guys, we got about five more minutes. Five more minutes at my house. Just sing along to music. Cool man. That's awesome that you like singing. Do you ever want to do it as a career? Do you ever want to uh, make it more than just singing at the house? Maybe go to a studio, record a couple songs. If so, what genre of music do you like? What genre do you like? You like country, rock, rap, or everything? Country, rock, hip hop, pop. You may have a past, but God has a future for you. Let it start now. Let it start now. Are you ready to start the beginning of your new life? We are almost at our destination. I'm trying to find my voice, struggling with my pitch. I love 90s country. Well, let me give you some music advice. Even though that's not what my channel's about, I'm gonna give you some music advice with singing. So, pitch and pitch correction is something that you do to be able to match notes or tones. And if you match notes or tones, it sounds better with the melody, of course, because it's not off pitch. It sounds better. And to work on that, you need to have an instrument. You need to have a guitar. You need to have a piano. You need to just start playing one tone at a time, one note at a time, and then just matching it with a, you know, a, a, a sound, a vocal sound, like a... Uh, a vowel like ooh ah you know anything like that and when you want to warm up your vocals the way you do it is you do it with the mmm mm, and you do a scale with that and after you do that about 10 minutes your vocals will become warm doing the mmm so you can go mm, and then go to the next uh, tone mmm And go to the next one and you should do that and you know use a piano or a, a guitar and then once you get warm then there's one more exercise you do to be able to increase your vocal range and that is the and the if you can't do that then take your fingers and put them right here and that helps you to hold it but you do the same thing you do with the mm, you do with the and what you do is you find scales on the piano and you play one note at a time and you do that about 10 minutes too so and i honestly i would do it for 30 minutes once you start really getting good at it and that'll keep that'll get you really warm and then you'll be able to sing better harmonize better i try to harmonize my voice to the singers very cool man that's good all right guys i'm at my first destination i love you stay healthy stay happy i gotta go